Hey, thanks for checking out Bald Eagle Garage. Today, I'm going to be doing some brakes. Another brake job. Yeah. And this thing. The Honda. Ronda the Honda. So, we're going to do some front brakes. Show you what I got. So, some centric rotors. Simple. Cost effective. Not the cheapest, but... For the price and the quality for the price, it's right there. Pause it quiet. Ceramics, these are made by Centric. Pads. And Raybestos calipers. So in the description, they said that they were bare, but they're actually zinc coated. So if you're looking for a good caliper, where I'm at in Minnesota, this is supposed to be really good stuff. So let's try it out. There it is. Rain, salt, and snow. All right, let's get to it. Well, I'm hoping these quick jacks work for this. Uh, according to where you're supposed to jack it up is right here. And that on the back one It's actually right here. And it's about as far back as I can go. I got these special blocks that are made for the pinch weld so we will see how that goes um, there really isn't a solid framework underneath that this quick jack is long enough to get uh, there's really like nothing in here which is super strange it's one of my smallest shortest cars and I have such a hard time getting the quick jack under it um, We'll see if it works. Let's take a gander. And it's just kind of pushing on the pinch well. It's, the gap in that block is kind of narrow. I'm not sure that's exactly how it's supposed to go, but see this one's seated good. But now the pinch weld is right up on the right up on the metal there. Let's see if we mess up the car. Let's see what happens. This is for science. It slipped through finally through that gap and then the body comes crashing down on the quick jack itself. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. It's like I it's like I almost need the extension to make this work on this tiny car. And usually the extension is for like a crew cab half ton. Yeah. Quick jacks, probably like, well, you put them on backwards. Well, I can't get that end close enough to here because when it's all the way down, it hits the tire. Because this edge starts way back here. And as it goes up, it, it, it arcs forward. So when it's all the way down here, this part's hitting the tire. So I'm going to try it like this. I'll put a jack underneath the front. Just because. It's up. It's locked in. But you're a little sketchy.
got sprinklers going on we got helicopters going over there's a dog over there that likes to bark when everyone anyone is within 300 feet that's real life wrenching all right i got the jack gun in there just to help it out a bit these brakes are terrible let's take off this cover Basically, all rust. I'm getting a squeal after I let off the brakes. Who knows? It might not even be the fronts. I mean, they don't look good. Look at that. So it's not grabbing. It's a good thing I got new uh, calipers and pads and rotors and a broken sway link too look at that oops well, it's just time to get this car better piece by piece until it's time to say goodbye to it oh look at that didn't need heat Now when you try to do that, make sure you use the right size screwdriver. This is, uh, I guess that's a number three screwdriver, so make sure you use proper size Phillips bit. If you use one that's too small, you're going you're gonna to have some problems. here that guy and we just want to break that loose and then tighten it back up just snug and we're gonna work on this okay that's the bracket bolt the hose is kind of in the way for that one just a little bit might try to get a wrench in there so we don't strain that unnecessarily. Pads aren't even that bad. But I do get a severe shaking whenever I hit the brakes, so. And based on that right there, rotors, need some rotors. If you do rotors, you might as well do pads. Okay, we're gonna get the caliper set up here. The pads. One pad's got this 
this little hooker on it that goes on the piston side just so you know well according to the ones that are on the vehicle right now they are on the piston side up where your pad's gonna go the slides here some of this on the back of this pad here where the piston makes contact like that slider in And this one, I just put it on here. This is where it makes the contact, right on the caliper itself. Like that. Weasel the pad in there. And voila. Pads are in. Make sure they're spaced out. Now it's ready to go in the vehicle. So make sure you clean your rotors first. They are covered in, uh, I don't know, honestly grease, but some sort of oil to keep them from rusting. It's bright clean. Clean, clean cloth. Put it on, make sure you line up your holes. The countersunk hole here is going to line up with the thread. The two threaded holes are for if it's loose, or I'm sorry, if it's stuck. You can pop in two bolts right here to push it off of the, the hub. screws in there okay now we're ready for the caliper so I have to get mine set up first make sure you got your, your little bolts handy
pull off your plug with your crush washers, set them aside. All right, the torque in these is 80 foot pounds. Make sure you check your car and make sure you get it the right torque. Now I take off the brake hose. I'll have to excuse my neighbor vacuuming in her driveway. Take a file and file down all the crud down here on the side so it'll seat nice and flat. So uh, your bolt here, make sure you pull off that old crush sleeve washer deal. Come right off like that. I like to file inside of here a little bit too. Okay, new crush washer. It's gonna go on this way. And then the other crush washer goes on like this. And then into the slot, the hole. And make sure you line up the brake hose here in the slot. It's pretty self-explanatory. Kind of holds it in there. These rubber gloves are fantastic for brake jobs because brake fluid is terrible on the skin. It feels so weird and it's just, ugh. I do not like it. So this needs to be 30 foot pounds, which I typically go to 30 and then if it still leaks, I tighten it till it stops leaking. So your mileage may vary. Break clean. I'll get the camera out of the way for that. Made that mistake earlier. What else we're going to do at this point? 
pull off your bleeder. Ten millimeter here. Just gonna open that up. Let the air come out. I'm not ready to bleed these yet, so go ahead and tighten her back up. Right about there. And now you just gotta go to the other side. I'm not gonna show you that, so bleed your brakes and put your tire back on torque your lug nuts make sure you do that torque these guys probably about a hundred go look it up for your car make sure you got it right because you don't want that coming off and then you know a couple week or two after that check them again make sure they're still torqued good and there you have it it's all you need to do it's all you need to know for doing your front so there you have it. Front brakes are now done. Once you smash that like button, hit the subscribe if you uh, like this content. No, no, no. And so there you have it. Your front brakes are done. They're super easy. I'm gonna wait till my neighbor's done vacuuming her driveway.